the month to the next team. And I mean this in the nicest way. These are the darlings of the NFL right now because everybody's in love with this Lions team. You know, haven't played a game yet, and yet they're the favorites for the division. First time in a long time. And everybody expects this Dan Campbell period to kind of continue in, in you know in terms of they were unfortunate not to make the playoffs last year it's only going to improve and I, I would say they have done some nice things in the off season like they've corrected issues they had in the secondary they brought in um something from the Steelers Mosley he was with the 49ers in the running game David Montgomery's been brought in Jamal Williams has moved on but we, we had Adam Rank on and he's a Bears fan as you know and he said believe me David Montgomery's a much better running back than Jamal Williams and we'll see that come the start of the season but I want to say from the draft, a lot of people were questioning their draft picks. They felt they reached on both picks, Jamar Gibbs running back. They obviously traded down from six originally because they wanted Witherspoon. They go at 12, they take the running back. And then at 18, they take Jack Campbell. And again, everybody felt it was a trade. Should we be in love with this Lions team, Colin? Or are people kind of getting carried away because of how the season ended last year with a significant win? And is Goff the answer in the long term? Are they cementing him now as the quarterback or is it still a wait and see scenario? I get why people are, you know, excited about the Lions. We've talked about it. I have described, you know, Detroit as the factory of sadness, but it became the house of fun last year. And I think that's why people are excited about it. But, you know, when you you tell me about the players that have moved on, right, Jamal Williams had 17 touchdowns last year, okay? I mean, he that, that puts him... Um, you know, in in an like exalted company in terms of the people who had in and around that. You're like the, the players who have more are the Daily and Tomlinson, Priest Holmes, Terrell Davis, Emmett Smith, Earl Campbell, <laughs> like uh, Marshall Falk, like Adrian Peterson. You know, that. That was an amazing season he had. And people might point to it as a, as a fluke, as a, as a one-off. Well, well, we'll have to wait and see um, on, on that. But it's going to be difficult to, to replace that. And they moved on from DeAndre Swift as, as well. So essentially 22 of their touchdowns from last year have moved on. I think it's going to be interesting because this is an offseason where we've kind of seen the devaluation of the running back, right? It's kind of running back by committee now you can bring guys in i know christian mccaffrey uh, kind of has talked about that in recent weeks about how um, you know he he feels that teams are oh, you know not appreciating how uh, important particular running backs are because guys are getting rewarded with contracts and, and the lions are going to be the team that maybe tests this because when you move on from 22 touchdowns um you're gonna have to, it's gonna be very interesting to see how the next uh, set of guys uh, get on goff is, is interesting because he's you know i feel jared goff is a quarterback you can win with um but i don't think he's a quarterback you win because of and i, I think that is the the issue um you pay quarterbacks ultimately that you win because of quarterbacks you win with i don't think you you, you pay those guys for what he is um, you know getting now they have a young team they are building under uh, dan campbell uh, and he, there will be the the expectation uh, that they that they do well and how how will they deal with that but look they are a team who certainly won't be afraid they're taking a kind of a different approach to to others by moving on from those running backs. You know, they're showing that they are prepared. They believe in their system. They believe in in Dan Campbell and what he is doing, and they think that he is the coach to take them places. Connor, you touched on the good feeling earlier, watching hard knocks with Dan Campbell and the fact they're favourites for the division. Are you buying into them? Do you, do you think they're worthy favourites for the division? Because it's this division, they probably are, to be fair to them. Um, they they look the best set to me. You know, I know we'll get to the Vikings shortly. I, I can see there being a big fall off there for, for a number of reasons. Um yeah, a lot of questions over over what they did in the draft, but they free agency moves that they made, I thought were smart. That looks like an elite secondary now. They really invested in the defensive backs, as you pointed out. Um That'll really help them. This this was a top five offense last year as well. So yeah, absolutely agree with you, Colin. I think probably Goff is is right at that point in the league that differentiates the guys between or differentiates between the guys you win with and the guys you win because of. Um 
having said that, you know, if you, if you put enough around them, Jeff Hostetler was a guy you could win with and he won the Super Bowl. Nick Foles was a guy you could win with rather than because of, and he, and he won the Super Bowl too. So every dog has its day. Goff has been within touching distance before and had a really good season last year. Um, they go as far as he takes them, I think, ultimately, which, you know, admittedly is the most cliche, cliche thing you can probably say about any NFL team. Of course, they go as far as the quarterback takes them because he's the most important position on the field. But... I see them making the playoffs this year because, you know, the, let's face it, the competition around them in this division isn't what it is in, in, in some other divisions. Um, and culture counts for a lot. Culture counts for a lot. Coaching counts for a lot. What we've seen in the insights that we've had into Detroit, courtesy of hard knocks and, and the little glimpses that we get in those Dan Campbell press conferences where, you know, and even in that Jamal Williams, that brilliant interview after the, the Packers game last year where, you know, you go between the tears and the steel just like that at the, at the snap of the fingers. You know, there is something exciting there and something special there. And yet people want to believe that it's real and that it can go to the next level. Um, but it's going to be a fun watch this year. We interviewed Scott Daly, the, the long snapper in last offseason. Couldn't speak highly enough of Dan Campbell. And we recently interviewed Brock Wright, the tight end from the Lions. Again, similar sentiment. Love working with Dan Campbell. It looks like a team that's, that's on the up. You touched on the Vikings. You both have him. The, the fact that what's it, 